Hi guys, as you can see, I'm underneath the car still. We're gonna carry on with getting ready for the MOT. So let's crack on. Right, car's up on the lift. So today, the job we're gonna do is these brake hoses. This one doesn't look too bad, actually. I looked over it. It's maybe starting to crack slightly, slightly, slightly just there. This side is worse. It is starting to go there. Uh, I don't know whether the MOT will pick up on it, but I've got them, so I'm gonna change them. While we're at it, we're gonna do front discs. Uh, and we've got these new hoses here. So we're gonna do brakes today. Uh, I've not got a set of pads just yet. They are arriving, so they'll be later on this afternoon. I'll be able to do the brake pads on that. But we're doing discs and pads on the front and the rear brake hoses. The front brake hoses are already changed and bled. Um, but while I'm changing the rear ones, I may as well bleed the whole system, change it to new brake fluid while we're at it. And then it'll be nice and new all over everywhere. Let's get on with it. Right, the first thing we do now is we need to get rid of that screw. These are obviously brake pipes, so they're only made of copper, these pipes, and they do kind of rust and get stuck. This one, they're all really, really clean, so I don't think I'm gonna have that problem. But I've got special brake spanners. I don't have them with me, but an ordinary, the normal brake spanners are, they go around there and they're missing one little section there, so they grip really tightly around there. You can do them ordinary spanners, and they're probably what I'll use uh, to do it. Um, the other thing we've got under there is these clips. Not the nicest clips in the world. They do sit really, really hard and they can break and they're a bit of a pain in the arse. But we're gonna try and get them out without breaking them. Um, so we'll start by loosening this off to make sure it's loose and then we'll pull that out. And it's the same in that end, uh, wherever it is there. Same in that end that we've got the, the nut there and then the little bracket thing here to pull out. So the cables don't sit that hard. They're not that difficult to change. The what can be difficult is this bracket there, but we'll give it a go and see how we get on. So now that both the hoses are changed, we've now got a load of air in these pipes because we've had a load of 
brake fluid come out of there so we've got a load of air in both these pipes now so we need to bleed the system and we're going to start with the side that is furthest away from the master cylinder now the master cylinder is over in that far corner the left corner so we're going to start with the right hand corner i'm going to use in one of these tools which is a compressor driven one when I, when I press the trigger here it creates a vacuum there and it sucks the brake fluid through this pipe so at one end of the pipe there is a little cover there that sits on the nipple so we're going to find the nipple which is just there some light on that it's just there and we put the cover over the top of the nipple well i needed to remove the wheel just to get to it but now i've got the cap on to that brake nipple there and i've got a 10 mil spanner attached to it so what i need to do now is on the other end of this is attach the air hose when i attach the air hose i can then create the vacuum in there and suck out all the brake fluid and we'll see the bubbles going through this pipe all the way down to the down to the canister here when it stops coming bubbles out of there i know that i've got rid of all the air let's crack on with it Right, I'm just going to show you what I've got fitted here. This is the reservoir here, the brake fluid reservoir. And what came in the kit is this extra bottle. I've never seen this kit before, but yeah, it seemed to work really well actually. Uh, that's fine to show you down here, but right down there at the bottom of the bottle, there's a little valve. And that is now open at the moment. Uh, and I don't know if you can get it on camera. I'll try and turn the light on and perhaps we can see it slightly better. Uh, the, no, that was worse. But there, the fluid level is at this level here. And with this valve open, the, the neck of this is actually in the brake fluid. So it's keeping it at the max level there. Um, if I were to lift this up now, you'll see that it starts to pour fluid out. As soon as I put it in there, it stops running fluid out. So it's permanently keeping this reservoir at the maximum level while I'm doing it, which is a really good thing. I've never seen it before. Um, so you just fill it with a bit of fluid. It's got three different fittings there to fit all different types of bottles. Uh, and you fill it with fluid up to about here. You can feed it. And I don't have to worry about running backwards and forwards to fill the reservoir up all the time, or running the risk of bleeding it at the rear I'm bleeding it so pass bleeding it at the rear and bleeding too much fluid out bleeding too much fluid out of here and sucking a load of air back into the system again because this is always filling the system back up again so it's quite a good thing came with the system never used it before but yeah worked really well right whenever we do any brake jobs especially when we've been bleeding the system uh, there's always a risk that we've got air in the system. What we need to do is make sure that we've got pressure in the pedal again uh, and definitely before we drive the car out. So it's always something you definitely have to do. So we're going to do that right now. What I do want to be careful of is not pushing the pedal all the way down to the floor. Uh, I want to push it about halfway and just make sure that I get a nice hard pedal, which I've now got, which means that there's no air in the system. If I could push the pedal like that and it'll still keep going down and down and down, that means I've got air in the system. But that is a really nice, solid, hard pedal. So after a road test, we'll know that we're all right. Well, that's that all done. Um, if you like what you've seen, press the little subscribe button. Um, please feel free to leave me a comment. I love reading the comments that you guys send me. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot then and bye-bye.